Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophinet the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. We're at Sampo Temple, hidden in Mount Congo. We, uh, well, kind of accidentally stumbled upon this place, and we're warned by a, well, by, by a poster that we might get kidnapped and killed. Is this actually an area that... Ooh. Oh! Because I'm wondering if we can get behind set... Wait. What? I can hear somebody screaming. There's somebody over there, but... What is behind this poster? Scrap iron. Always nice. Some more upgrade materials. But then this man... Who are you? <laughs> they left me here. Where did everyone go? Why did you leave Kotaro behind? Now what do I do? Okay, why are you crying? Because he looks like a monk, actually. Why are you crying? Everyone's gone. I'm all alone. Who's oh, everyone? God. Everyone? Huh? Who? The spinning, spinning red and white flowers. Only one pure white flower. The pure white flower I cannot find. What? My head hurts. Sorry. I have no idea what I'm saying. I just... I've got to find the pure white flower. Okay, we can't do anything apparently. We got to find the pure white flower. <laughs> Where could... Where could it be? Okay, so he's looking for that flower. Fair enough. Doesn't seem like there's anything I can do behind him. Oh, never mind. There's a woman with a kite down there. Can I actually jump? Oh, yes, I can. So there's an upper way to go and a lower way to go. There seem to be more people around here. So this is the man that's holding up the the kite. Oh, wait, where's the kite? Oh, oh Jesus, okay. Hello? So this is one of the monks, I suppose. Oopa! There we go. Goodbye, monk. I'm sorry. Sorry to disturb you like that. I thought it was gonna be a nice man, but apparently not. I can go even lower. Maybe I should check that out first. Can drop down over here. and Don't see... Looks like there might be a few and There's one over there. I can see that. And I don't have the loaded axe equipped. So let's just swap that out really quickly. Oh god. That was not what I wanted to do, but never mind. Loaded axe. And there we have that kite. So I'm guessing that little enemy here is holding up the kite. Oh no, it has some sort of contraption. There we go. Didn't even need the loaded axe. Now we can get more items. Kaichin's sugar. And there's a kite. Fly the kite. Don't mind if I do in a minute. Because I do have, of course, the idol that can... Just, uh, I can warp to that if I need to. More sugar. And, because of course the sugars were actually made over here, if I recall correctly. They were made at Sampao Temple by the monks. Or some of those sugars, at least. Uh, okay. This is... Is, is this useful in any way? Okay, let go. And it's coming back. That's not really... How is this useful in any way? I don't know. Let's just move back. So back on the main path, I think. I think I might even move back up to see if I don't... Haven't missed anything in the upper path. Although, let's just take a look. While we're here. High grass, we might as well duck into there. And take a look. Yeah, so there's a monk over there. The monks doesn't seem to be too aggressive. And I'm wondering if I 
even need to attack these old men. Because I'm afraid that if I do, I might just... Because why, why are we attacking old men? There's one. There we go. I can just kill his ass. Ah, crap. Where are they? So there he is. There we go. Just gonna be careful because there's more where that came from. <laughs> you can hear the monks singing actually, that's also really cool. There we go. Don't hit it once there. He actually deflected my trusts, which is cool because that's the first time that actually happened. And of course, we're getting more and more sugar. So two more guys, at least one with a spear. Yeah, one with a spear. Ooh, there's a lot of these guys. There's a lot of these guys. And if they're all as feisty as this one, we're gonna be in for a surprise. Just gonna... Try and kill at least one. And off you go. There we go. So the guys with the spears are a bit more feisty. Since they can block your attacks more easily. And I'm more of the Mibu possession balloons too actually. Should maybe start using some of those. So they're all heading further up the stairs. And there's like, ooh, there's like eight of them. Might as well move up a bit. If I just... Yeah, over there. Because if I now jump in between those guys, I'm just going to be dead. Which is not going to be good. I can actually go pretty high. And for some reason, there's actually corpses here as well. Which indicates that, yeah, I don't need to feel bad about... There's multiples, actually. About killing these guys. Because it appears like they're doing a lot of killing themselves as well. I think the entire procession, yeah, they're going up and down. Which makes me wonder whether I should try and ambush them somehow. Oh, and they're starting to see me. Goodbye, good sir. More sugar for me, probably. Yeah, there's all... We, we get all the different kinds of sugar, so I'm pretty sure that I'm correct on the fact that they're making that sugar themselves here. More spirit emblems, always handy. And then maybe I think I'll be able to... Yeah, they're turning back. So I think I'm able to enter the temple and kill this one guy guarding this place. And then stealth and kill this guy. There we go. So these guys have folded the the normal hand and feet guys are folded. This guy's gonna get stabbed. There we go. I think that's the last of them. At least over here. So we killed all the monks. Let's gather a few items. So yeah, definitely people bound and just left here to die. Or maybe they died inside of the temple and they just disposed of them here. So more sugar, more corpses over here, and more items as well. So light coin purse, antidote powder, and more antidote powder. Will come in handy, I suppose. So going even higher up, there seems to be a little area to the side with another item. Which is just a heavy coin purse, don't mind if I do. And then... We have the temple itself, I suppose. Seems to be, yeah, that's a bit weird, but never mind. And then we have this large gate. There seems to be an opening in the ceiling here that I can use. And that's probably exactly what I'm going to do. So I do want to double check if I haven't missed anything over here. 
Oh, I did. There's actually a bird's nest in that little shack on that little shack over here. So there we go. Bird's nest and another light coin purse with that. But I feel like there's still an upper way to go. Hmm, weird. Let's just move inside the building and see what we can find. So we just killed a lot of dudes, but we didn't take as well, just one hit. We took one hit and that's basically it. So if I... There we go. I can climb up here. Oh, that doesn't sound good. That's more insects. Wait, that's those are those insects from... In the, the depths as well. Not the depths. That's of course Dark Souls, but still... They're dealing with a big infestation here. I think one of them actually dropped down. I can't get back up again. That's an annoying noise. Akko Sugar. Wait a second. These statues are in the loading screen. So let's just take care of those things. Exterminator Sekiro. At your service. Those monks should be paying me. I mean, I'm just taking out their vermin. So, seems like a bunch of demons protecting this multi-headed guy who's holding a bow, a split arrow, a sword, and a spear of some sort. But this is a weird room, right? Why is there a hole in the, in the floor like this? Oh! Oh, and there's a monk over there as well. But we can go silently. I'm just getting done here. Oh my god. Oh, co -co 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 -tori -po -po. He's gonna pass by, isn't he? No? <laughs> so don't think they noticed me, but the bug's dead. The bug's dead. I'm just gonna pull back just to kill the bugs. There we go. Still exterminating the fuck out of your temple. Okay, so three monks and whatever is up there, but I can't seem to target the guy in the back. There's something in the back. Saw a health bar in the back. But I'm not sure if I can just... I don't know what that middle guy is all about. I feel like this is an ambush. He doesn't seem to notice me though. There's definitely something in the back. Just gonna grab the items while we're here. Kogan Sugar, Unshakable Core, and a Ceramic Shard. Yeah, there we go. Ah, that's what I need to do. I need to look and then... Wait, what? What is that one? Get off the wall! Get off the wall! There we go. That's one. And that's a Deflect. Oh, there's a big monk. Oh, he grabbed me. Yeah, he kicked my ass. There we go. And then I need to quickly get my healing board back. So that's just one of the big guys with the clubs. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. I can deflect those blows, but it's pretty useless, I think. There we go. And there we go. That's the one he, he he holds for very long, so I can actually pummel away on him. Oh! Ow! That was a good hit. Kudos to him, that was a good hit. Oh, that was it. That was it. Here we go. In the face. So it looks like the guy we were talking to who was looking for the white flower. But... I should heal up, right? Yeah, I'm gonna heal up. There we go. There we go. So we cleared out the outside of the temple. And I that's that old woman again. Over there. The old woman that helped us. Well, maybe helped us out a bit. And this guy is definitely... Oh, dead. Definitely dead. He's a corpse. Oh, yeah. A maggot-ridden corpse. Oh, good Jesus fucking Christ. Not dead. Definitely not dead. So he's just vomiting up. Are you kidding me? 
I should probably kill this guy, right? There we go. Ow, ow, ow. God damn you. So I think these things actually don't damage me. They just give me... Oh, they do damage me. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Oh god, he's coming up to life again. And he's protecting the Gord Seed. Great. 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 He's just resurrecting like the guys in the... Ooh, what was that? I need I need to read that. Ooh, and I also need to calm down. I'm some. I'm for some reason freaking out about the undead guy just spewing up uh, cicadas there. Lump of fat wax. These lumps of fatty wax form inside the body in rare circumstances. Can be used for intermediate and higher occultic upgrades for prosthetic tools. Considered omens of disease, they are known to grow larger as the illness worsens. So yeah, that kind of fits with the undead guy over there. I'm gonna have to kill him again. There we go. I think that should probably kill him off permanently now. Although the maggots are still going. Is he gonna just resurrect again? Yeah, he is. He's just moving. God, die already. And he's actually made of worms. There's like worms on his bottom side as well. I can't kill this guy. I cannot kill this guy. Last thing I'm gonna try. I wanna try to actually cauterize him. Is this enough? No. I just wasted three spirit emblems on a guy that can't die. Great, great. So let's just go outside and talk to the old lady. Those are like little windmills. Okay, so that's just the undead guy going at it again. Yeah, go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. Another Mibu balloon. And then we can talk to the old lady. What is she talking about? So this is... Is this the other side of the the kite? Doesn't seem like it. Ah, fruits of the serpent, yes. There are two kinds. One is fresh, the other is dried. It's over there. The fresh one is over there. Over the cliff, through the hole. That's where you'll find it. Fresh? What are you talking about? Hmm? Something troubling you? Rice for me, that's the way. <laughs> rice, I say. If something troubles your mind, bless me with rice anytime. Okay, we don't have rice. Have any rice? Rice from the divine child. Okay, she's talk talking about Kiro, probably. Do we need to... What's she talking about? Down in the ho Oh. That hole, probably. But there's a hole in the cliff side over there. There's a cave. Hmm. So there we go. That dialogue just copies itself. And these are like... Ugh. Carvings of little children. Always nice. Always nice. I could do with a shortcut right about now. And that looks like... Yeah, that looks like something bad. So into the woods we go. We can take out the flame guy... If I want to, but that thing looks... Oh, that's a spear guy again. I don't do well with spear guys. Does that get the attention of those guys? No, it doesn't. So I should probably just go over here. There's more monks. Definitely more monks. Just gonna kill his ass. Because I don't want to deal with his kind again. But, so there's a mini boss over there. Let's go up. Crouch again. Go over there. If I can get a stealth attack on that guy, that would be nice. If I can do that from above, would be the best tactic, right? If I grapple over here, I'm actually behind. Oh. Oh no, there's another one of those. There's two of those. Jesus. That's not good. And the bridge is broken going forward. So there's one guy over there and one guy down here. 
But I don't yet know how difficult these guys are. But I might as well try and get a stealth attack it. Nope, he saw me. He saw me. God damn it. They're actually pretty hard. Oh, Jesus Christ. There we go. Ow, 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 ooh, 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 ooh. This is bad. This is bad. There we go. Ooh, lots of spirit emblems over here. So they're still trying to find me. There we go. Oh god. This is annoying. Yeah, there's two of them. That's too much. Okay. So. Resurrect. And then just run away. I'm just gonna heal. So this is annoying. There we go. I don't think they can reach me over here. Okay, so after waiting a while, both of them lost my attention. Well, I lost their attention at least. So I'm gonna try and just lure one of them out. To see if I can't actually just defeat one of them. Doesn't seem like I did much damage, by the way. So there we go, so he's coming. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's half my health bar. Ow. Oh, wow, he just killed me. Jesus Christ. Yeah, okay, that's another death. That is painful. Did get Unseen Aid. Which makes me wonder whether I should actually just get... Use my coins. Because I have 952 to buy some stuff. Um, give me a second. So back at the merchant guy. I keep forgetting his name. So I do apologize. Something with a lot of A's, I think. Anayama. Uh, Anayama? Anayama? Okay, there we go. So, the Phantom Kunai is 3,000 coins. Which is a lot. But I'm wondering at how much I would get with the... Let's see. The purses I have. So, that's 600. That's 1,600. And I have no idea how much that is, but I think it will be enough. So if I go with that, that's 1,000. And there we go. We got 3,000. Let's stock them again. Anayama... Let's purchase the Phantom Kunai. And we can use that to upgrade the Loaded Shuriken, which is gonna be nice. Sweet and all of that. And I think the last coins I'm gonna use to buy more pallets. So, three more things before we head on. We're back at the Dilapidated Temple. First things first, let's give another Gert Seed to Emma. So, let's give her the Gert Seed. There we go. There was a Dragon Rot epidemic in Ashina once. Let's before. have a little chat. Back then. A cure was not achieved. Every single person who caught it died. I see. It is my hope that finally discovering the cure has alleviated this regret, if only a little. I wonder, <laughs> his response is almost always, I see. Goodbye. If he can't actually make full sentences. I'm really, really, really wondering if he can actually talk like a proper man. But, upgrades. There we go. So it seems like I can't even do anything with the prosthetic tool upgrades just yet. So that is interesting. But, yeah, not a problem, I suppose. I'm just lacking the materials for any of those. Uh, even though I could get the coin if I wanted to. So, never mind. Other thing I want to do is I still have four skill points that I just have lying around. So let's use those as well. So let's reduce the posture damage we're getting when we're getting attacked by somebody who uses a sword. So there we go. Flowing water acquired. So if you do that once more, you might actually get to some cool uh, abilities here as well. 
But that's it for now. I just noticed that the upgrades to my Shurikens can actually be... Yeah, I need to equip those separately. So those are separate prosthetic tools. Um, I don't see, however, where that upgrade I got from the Kunai is going to. Oh, Phantom Kunai here. Kunai used by Lady Butterfly. Yusu's forest far from civilization along the Tozan Trail. This forest is filled with mist and mystification, making it ideal for training in illusion techniques. Hmm. So if you want to have that, we need to go to that forest, I suppose. Interesting. So, we're back at the temple. I'm just going to try and move along this as quickly as I can. There's no other way than true, so let's just gather up the few items that we can get. And I feel like because they have those wooden hats, they're actually immune to uh, drop-down attacks. Let's cross. It doesn't see me yet. And those two guys just having fun. There we go. And there's something up the, the bridge watching me. That's pretty much it. Okay, pallets. Is there a way from me? I think if I'm going to do that, I'm going to trigger the guy that's higher up, right? Now, where is... Yeah, he's right over here. So I think... There we go. Oh, is that a one-hit kill? Yes, it is. It is. Oh, eat it. Eat it. Oh, God, he saw me. He saw me doing something, at least. And I think... Yeah, over here, there's a grappling point. So I can actually go... Oh, I'm just going to kill these guys with a stealth attack. There we go. And they say Sekiro is hard. You could just kill these guys like that. <laughs> stealth, baby. Stealth. Stealth wins all the way. Ah, okay. Let's now quickly take a look around. See if we can if we didn't miss anything. Doesn't seem like I missed anything. They must have been guarding something at least. There's one item over here. More sugar. And it doesn't seem like I can actually access the other side from here. There's multiple bridges. Oh. Okay, but I can't go over there. Now, let's first check out that big tree over here. Now that I've cleared this area from enemies. I'm actually going to get the gourd back. Five charges already. That's looking nice. Isn't it? There we go. On top of the tree. On top of the tree. And another item in a bird's nest. More coins. Always welcome. Now. Where are we exactly? It looks like we could technically go over there, right? If I just slowly... No, I can't, I can't go over that branch. But it looks like it's accessible. But maybe I need an upgrade for my grappling hook before we reach that. Might be, might be. So, it's good that we know about this, but I feel like we can't do anything about that just yet. So, from the bridge, we can access this. This seems to be a cave, where there might be more of these dual blade wielding dudes. But for now, it just seems to be traversal. How are these monks getting around, by the way? Oh, 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 look at that. Sculpt this idol. I will stop complaining now. There we go. Commune with that. We don't even really need to rest at it since we're pretty much fine on that front. We did get an extra skill point if you want to. And now there's ways down and up. So first we go up. We can actually reach over there, but... I don't want to miss anything, so let's just go the normal path and grab ourselves a few items along the way. Not that I'm using any of these items, but still. Oh god, hi. Where the hell did you come from? Yeah. 
So that's probably if you're going too fast, he can get the drop on you. Let's just go into stealth. And there we go. So he came from up above. Yeah, there's another one over there. That is interesting. Those guys might actually be designed to knock you off. Um, did he just fall off by accident or was that supposed to happen? I don't know. Let's go further up. Oh! There we go. So these guys have a broken hat, which is why I can just easily wail on them. Then let's get up here. Take a look. No spirit emblems for me. I don't think this is supposed to be the way, right? This is precarious. There we go. Oh. I almost just tossed them off. Goodbye. Blah. Blah. That was a precarious way to fight. But still, we made it. We made it. This. Ooh. So if I... There we go. Let's hang. Let's hang. No. So that was annoying. Kind of felt like I did it there. Ma come on. Wait, what? Isn't that what you're supposed to do? So let's just heal up. that I survive another fall? Maybe like this, so I have a better angle. Oh, yeah. Didn't even get the prompt now. So, heal up again. Jump. There we go. And... Nope, why am I not going far enough? Okay, so never mind. Can't do anything with that. Cannot do anything with that. So let's just move up. Oh, but that looks like the place. That definitely looks like the place. Look at that. We're getting high up here. I feel like I missed quite a few side areas as well, but... Let's move up first. Ah, this is the bridge. This is the, the overhanging bridge. And there's more of those windmills over here. Those were surrounding that old woman before. So maybe... There's something else to this place. Or it could also be an arena to fight some sort of mini-boss. Uh, what is that? That doesn't look like a normal item. Red and white pinwheel. A small pinwheel made of red and white paper. Found about halfway up Mount Congo. The red and white pinwheels simply spin round and round. Everyone is right here. Okay. Is that what that guy at the beginning was looking for? The pure... No, he was looking for a pure white flower, wasn't he? So that can't be what he was looking for. I love how you can see everything from here. Because there's multiple buildings over there. That's probably Ashina Castle. And there's another sculptor's idol over there near the bell. But that's probably not easily accessible. There's even cliffs down there. I mean, I've been jumping off of things constantly now, so why not do it? Ah, God. Okay, I don't know where that cliff went. Must have missed the cliff there. Ooh, why am I on the edge? Okay, let's drink up. There's a cliff right there, but... Uh, I got it. I got it. Ooh. I got it. Okay. I'm, I'm scared as hell now, but I got it. So what happens if you move up here? I hear a gecko. And they're spewing poison, which is fine. Anything on the other side here? No. 
more geckos, but I can wall jump this. And, ooh, that's a pure white one. There we go, white pinwheel. A small pinwheel made of white paper found below a cliff at Mount Congo. Perhaps it was carried there by the wind. It is simply a single, pure white pinwheel. Only the child is right here. Only the child is right here. So the white represents the child, whatever that means. Interesting. And the red, I don't know what the red is supposed to mean then. This thing broke off. So what else is here? Because I feel like that was really hard to access. That's a sword down that lizard's throat. I'm sorry about that little gecko. Really am, really am. So red and white. So what does the red stand for? The parents then? So let's hang from this. Let's see what else is here. It doesn't seem to, so that there's a door, but there's also an opening in the wall here. That does not sound good, does it? That does not sound good. Just gonna look around a bit. What is this about? It's making weird noises and suddenly all the music is gone. Heavy coin purse. And monkey booze. Alcohol created by dew pooled in a hollow tree. Fruits hidden by monkeys in tree hollows can sometimes ferment and turn into sake with a bit of luck. While it's known for its brutally harsh flavor, some find this acquired taste irresistible. Interesting. We're getting a lot of items here, which is nice. Items we can use probably with the sculptor. So let's, let's open that up. I feel like we're going to get ambushed in a second here. Yeah, what the hell is that? What in Jesus Christ is that? What happened to this man? Because he's... What the hell? So he has claws. Like Wolverine claws. And then he, ha he has hooks all over his body. And looks like a bunch of bombs hang from his... From the sides. Oh, this is gonna be... What the hell is that? There's a silhouette on the wall. And that, that looks like a boss fight. Black gunpowder? Don't mind if I do. That doesn't seem like something I want to go to. What else is here? There's like... What is this? Hug wall. Could probably get into the silhouette. Oh! What did I do? What the hell? Um... What's this circle? I'm standing inside the circle, don't know if that's good or not. Oh, might be interesting to read. Shinobi escape route leads to the demon bell. Okay, sounds good. Unless it's filled with enemies. And it does not look good. Because I want to go to that bell, there's a... Ooh, what's that noise again? There was a... A sculptor's idol at the bell. Fuck oh, that noise. Oh, no, 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 no. That's another one of those. Bo Wait. Is that the other side of that boss fight? Because he was... Yeah, we're back in the Ashina's outskirts. That's interesting. No, 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 no. Not doing that. I only have one healing board. I don't care about that, and I'm really slow when I'm doing that. So let's just go back. That's not good. That's not good. Maybe he's just talking about the demon bell being over here. So let's hug the wall again. Whoo. So yeah, literally, as I just said, fuck that noise. Um, is this another door? No. No. Okay. So if that's... Leads to the demon bell. I know what the other side is, so this should probably be the demon bell then. Yes. Yes. Look at that. Demon bell. And I can ring the demon bell. Why is it called the demon bell? That doesn't sound like it's something good. 
Um, but yeah, we're going to do that next time because I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed our little trip through the, well, precursors to Senpai Temple. Because I'm going to suppose that that is the temple itself. And next time we're going to ring that bell and probably go inside of there and cross that bridge finally. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And hope to see you guys in the next episode of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Goodbye. Okay,